Dear congregation, today we gather to explore a topic that has intrigued believers for centuries, the rapture. In the pages of scripture, we find glimpses of this event that promises the ultimate redemption and reunion with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we delve into the Word of God, may our hearts be stirred with anticipation and readiness for the glorious day of His return. The promise of Christ's return, anticipating His coming. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17 For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. The rapture, as foretold in Scripture, is the blessed hope of every believer, the imminent return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Just as He ascended into heaven, so too shall He descend with power and glory to gather His faithful followers. Let us eagerly await His coming, knowing that He will fulfill His promise to take us to be with Him forever. The imminence of His arrival, living in readiness. Matthew 24, 44. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. The precise timing of the rapture remains a mystery known only to God. Therefore, we are called to live in a state of continual readiness, keeping our lamps burning and our hearts prepared for His sudden appearance. Let us not be caught off guard or entangled in the cares of this world, but rather be vigilant and expectant of His imminent return. The significance of His appearing, fulfillment of prophecy. Revelation 22, 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. The rapture is not merely a fantastical notion, but a fulfillment of prophecy spoken by the prophets of old and reiterated by our Lord Jesus himself. It underscores the faithfulness of God to his word and serves as a reminder of his sovereignty over all creation. Let us meditate on the significance of his appearing, knowing that it heralds the consummation of his divine plan for redemption and restoration. The urgency of preparation, repentance, and readiness. 2 Peter 3, 9. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, ward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. While we await the glorious day of His return, let us not grow complacent or indifferent. Instead, let us heed the urgency of preparation by turning away from sin and embracing a life of holiness and righteousness. The Lord's delay in His coming is an expression of His mercy, giving us time to repent and be ready for His appearing. May we use this opportunity wisely, drawing near to God with contrite hearts and steadfast faith. The hope of eternal glory, a home beyond compare. John 14, 2, 3. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. As we contemplate the reality of the rapture, let us not lose sight of the hope set before us, the hope of an eternal inheritance reserved for us in heaven. Our present trials and tribulations are but momentary compared to the glory that awaits us in Christ. Therefore, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, and press on toward the prize of our upward calling in Him. 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 52 Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed, in a moment in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. At the sound of the trumpet, the dead in Christ will rise first, their mortal bodies transformed into glorious immortal bodies. Then those who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. This miraculous event signifies the culmination of our redemption and the beginning of our eternal fellowship with Christ, the blessed hope of His coming, encouraging one another. 1 Thessalonians 4:18. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. As we ponder the reality of the rapture, let us take comfort in the assurance of God's promises. Let us encourage one another with the hope of Christ's imminent return, knowing that our faithfulness will be richly rewarded. Even in the midst of trials and tribulations, may we find solace 
in the blessed hope of his coming and the eternal joy that awaits us in his presence. The call to vigilance, watchfulness, and prayer. Matthew 24, 42, 44. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the goodman of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. In light of the imminent return of our Lord, let us heed his call to vigilance. Just as a vigilant homeowner guards against the intrusion of a thief, so too must we be spiritually alert, watching and praying without ceasing. May we not be caught off guard by the cares and distractions of this world, but remain steadfast in our devotion to Christ, eagerly awaiting his glorious appearing. 1 Thessalonians 5.24 Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Amidst the uncertainties and upheavals of life, let us take solace in the unchanging faithfulness of our God. He who has called us is faithful to fulfill his promises, including the promise of his return. Therefore, let us anchor our hopes securely in him, knowing that he who began a good work in us will bring it to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. The Commission to Spread the Gospel Proclaiming the Good News Matthew 28, 19, 20 Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. As we anticipate the return of our Lord, let us be faithful stewards of the gospel entrusted to us. Let us go forth into all the world proclaiming the good news of salvation through Jesus Christ and making disciples of all nations. May we labor tirelessly in his vineyard, knowing that our labor in the Lord is not in vain and that every soul, one for Christ, hastens the day of his glorious return. Beloved brethren, as we await the blessed hope of the rapture, let us live with unwavering faith, fervent prayer, and zealous obedience to God's word. May the anticipation of his return fill our hearts with joy and our lives with purpose as we eagerly anticipate the fulfillment of his promise.